season two. We're gonna jump right in with our third contestant of the night. So, our next contestant is Blake Cox. Blake, come on up to the stage. She'll be singing, How Can I Keep From Singing? Now, we are having so much fun down here, contestants, are we not? We always have fun at the Mall St. Matthews every Tuesday night. And for more on that, here's Jim Gallipo. Join us next week for the live taping of The Sound at St. Matthews Mall in Louisville, Kentucky on Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. Visit thesoundlouisville.com for more information on being part of the live studio audience. Plus, when you come out, you have the chance to win prizes and be a part of an exclusive content not shown on TV each week. We're filming again this Tuesday, so don't miss it. And now, here's Blake Cox with How Can I Keep From Singing. Lord, I will lift my eyes in the darkest night, for I know Great job. So, Blake, who would you say is someone who inspired you to become a musician? Probably my mom. She did, she performed violin in college, and she's taken up piano lessons again, so she's been a real inspiration to me. Cool. Did she sing to you when you were little? Yeah. Yeah, that'll inspire someone. Okay, cool. Well, let's hear some feedback from the judges, Blake. Leslie, we'd love to start with you. Blake, um, I remember your video... And you were very, you know, unassuming, put, turning the video on, and you were kind of like, oh, hi. And I was like, oh. But then all of a sudden you started singing, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's a beautiful voice. So um, kind of like Debbie was talking about with the last contestant, don't give us any reason to think that you're worried about being up there because you deserve to be up there with that voice. Thank you. That's a beautiful voice. I would like to hear, because of you have such a, beautiful purity to your voice. It's so like, clear. It's a beautiful vocal quality. But I'm wanting, you to, I'm wanting you to inject a little bit, find a little bit more style in your voice. And I don't mean, um, you know, scatting around or doing something that doesn't feel comfortable to you. But it's right now, it, you've, although you have this beautiful, pure vocal quality, it's still very straight and very choral. And so I'm wanting to hear a little bit more inflection that's a little bit more what I call like a speech level. Okay. That's a little bit more conversational to get your point across with your vocal. Nice input. Jason? Uh, yes, I, I agree with uh, Leslie. I would like to see um, you pick uh, some material that pushes you. I can tell that you have range in your voice. Um, and um, I just don't, don't, don't get comfortable with uh, mediocre. Push us into the presence of God. I, I believe that there's, there's a, a part of your voice that you're going to wow us yes. with. I know it's in there. I know it is. And I want to hear that from you. And like she said, you are supposed to be here. The texture and the, and the tone of your voice is awesome. I believe with the right song, it'll push you into the place where you'll have everybody standing. Absolutely. Amen. Thank you all. Wonderful insight. Great things to work on, Blake. Great voice. All right, so I'm going to let you go back to your seat, and we're going to bring the next contestant up on stage. All right. And now we have Erica Gaines singing Redeemed. Erica, you can begin to make your way up here. Levi? You can hear him, you can hear him um, on 
All right, I am down here with Judy. Judy, do you remember me? Yeah, I Okay, I just wanted to, everybody to hear that you did remember him. No, I'm just kidding. So you made it into our, uh, you, were, you were one of our contestants last week in our top ten, right? Yeah. So how do you think it went? Um, I think it went well. I, I think we're all our worst critics, so we always can see, oh, I could have done this better. Oh, I could have done that better. But um, the fact that I didn't, like, faint from nerves, I think, says, uh, says yeah, that that's, I did all right. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Did you get any feedback from family and friends? I know family can, I know how family is. They're always going to tell you that you did a great job. But uh, any friends, family? Yeah, my uh, God love my church family. They, um, a lot of them encouraged me to do this. This definitely wasn't something I did on my own. Um, so uh, they, I got a lot of great feedback. And, of course, the family had a big viewing party on Thursday. And um, so everybody's been so supportive and so loving. It's been great. Love it. Love it. All right. We are going to go back to the stage with Lindsay. And now, singing Redeemed, here is Erica Gaines. Excellent job. So I am told that you have quite the cheering section for you here tonight. I do. I do. Yes, I have. My three daughters are here tonight. This is a trial right here to see how this works. But I have a, um, a six-year-old Ella and um, a three-year-old Kana and then an almost nine-month-old Sayla. Oh, my goodness. Well, and then, of course, my mother-in-law and a bunch of friends and my husband. Wonderful. I'm sure they're very proud of you. Excellent job. So. Let's hear from the judges. Uh, get some more feedback. Uh, Debbie, I'd love to get started with you. You knocked it out of the park, girl. Oh, thank you. It thank was, you. you. You told the story. And I, I hope that all these young people here tonight, I'm telling you all, you are beautifully, beautifully gifted young people. But you told the story. And that's what we need to do, whether we're singing on pitch or we're preaching. And you were preaching to us on pitch, and I felt it. Thank you. Preaching thank you. Pitch. It was beautiful. Yes. Preaching on pitch, I love that. <laughs> Chris. We got to take that. Wow, it's, it's, you know, I don't think anybody would look at you and think she's going to sing a song by a group called Big Daddy Weave. <laughs> um, and you did it. Wow, how many ladies would get up and try to sing that song? Hugely popular song to everybody watching this TV show, uh, a, or a lot of them are going to know that song. You sounded fantastic. Um, good to see you back and I think we'll be hearing more from you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I have the next contestant to make it up to this stage, and that individual is Ashley Moore. Ashley, come on up. You'll be singing Give Thanks. For more information on tonight's show, here is Jim Gallipo. The winner of the Sound Season 2 will receive recording time with an industry-leading Christian recording producer. And they'll receive studio time to record their first single. Plus, they'll introduce their new single on the 88.5 WJIE Morning Show with Kristen and myself. And after all that, they'll relax in the sun on the beach in Florida as they'll receive a week's-long trip to the Sunshine State. That's a total prize package worth thousands, all for winning The Sound Season 2 on WBNA TV 21. Now, back to you. And now, here's Ashley Moore singing Give Thanks.
faithful heart give thanks to the holy one give thanks because he's given jesus christ his son give thanks with the grace Ashley, great job. So we were talking earlier and you said hometown is Lexington for you? Yes. And you wanted to give a shout out? I want to give a shout out to UK, UK basketball. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yes, born and raised in Lexington, Kentucky. Um, we moved here maybe about three years ago. Uh, currently live in E-Town and getting ready to transition um, to the D.C. area. So yes, keep us in prayer. Oh, very, very cool. All right. Well, let's get some feedback from those judges. Leslie, let's get started with you. Wow, Ashley, I love your choice of song. You have a very rich vocal quality. And I know you're nervous. <laughs> Because I get nervous just watching you all. And I know what that feels like to have that, like, not be able to do everything you want to do with your voice yes. because you're... Um, so, yes, I understand that feeling. But I want to hear you just sing some straight tones. Okay. Like, you've got this really big, rich voice. And I'm wanting to hear you lean into that. And less of the riffing okay. because that's getting you a little out of tune, okay. especially when you're nervous. Right. Okay. So, yeah, you can, like, just make things a little bit more simple so that we can really enjoy okay. the richness of your voice Thank and the you power so in your voice. Thank you so much. A lot of power there. Jason? Yes. Um, Ron Canoli, if anybody knows who Ron Canoli is, yes. I've traveled with him for like the last eight years. He's like a father to me. He told me, less is more. And, and it stuck with me. I did the same thing when I got in front of him. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I was doing all of it. Look what I, he said, stop, just sing it plain. The power is there and you have power behind what you do. When you got to the, and now let the weak say I am strong. You pulled me into you. You know, don't, don't give me everything. Placement is key. Okay. Just watch your placement and you're going to be, you're going to be a great. All right, well, thank you so much, judges. Thank you, Ashley, thank you. and good luck to you in thank that transition. You. So we have our first five. We're going to be announcing the remaining five after this, but don't go anywhere here on WBNA TV 21. The Sound Louisville on WBNA 21 is brought to you by b and &B Law Offices, Shelbyville Chrysler, Paralon Business Solutions, Troy's Wrecker Service, Doo-Wop Shop, Louisville Athletic Club Westport Road location, Ren and Rave, and Knob Creek Gun Range. Wardrobe for hosts provided by Favorite Things Boutique, Shelbyville, Kentucky.